In addition to the more than 400 pieces of gear that are already available with VRigger, you can insert your own images. This is helpful when you want a background image behind your rigging system. It's also helpful when you want to add images that do not require gear or rope connections. For example, you could insert a car, a drum, or any other object. To insert an image into VRigger, simply click the Picture button on VRigger's Insert tab. The images can be in the bitmap, JPEG, TIFF, GIF, or PNG formats. Ropes and other gear can't connect directly to inserted pictures. However, you can use slack points to make it appear that the ropes are connected to the picture. You can see that I've already inserted a picture of an industrial site onto the workspace. And I'll use VRigger's lock command to lock this picture so it will ignore mouse clicks. The lock command is very helpful when you're using a picture as a background image. To make it look like the ropes are connected to the objects in this picture, I'm going to add two slack points to the workspace, and I'm going to place them where I want the rope to connect. I'll then connect a rope, or webbing in this case, to the slack points. And I'll add a carabiner so we can see that webbing more clearly. This webbing is actually connected to the slack points, but it sure looks like it's connected to the railing in this picture. And of course, you can use the gear builder inside of VRigger to create sophisticated gear that connects to ropes and to other gear. But the insert picture command is a quick and easy way to add images onto the workspace.